it is that time again. Time to head back to Jersey. But first, you know what we have to do. We've got to get Wawa, got to get gas there, and coffee. I'm not going to show you guys all that because you guys have seen that a ton of times. So, heading to Wawa right now. It's about a two and a half hour drive back to school. Maybe three hours depending on traffic, but hopefully there won't be any traffic. That is the game plan. But I will probably see you guys back when I am at school. Got kind of a busy day, no classes, but I do have to work this afternoon and get to the gym, but I probably won't get to the gym till late tonight. Um, and it's supposed to be a leg session, so I'm back on track with my workout schedule. Only missed one day of workouts, which was Sunday, Easter, which I already knew I wasn't going to be working out then. So not that big of a deal, didn't mess anything up, didn't miss cardio, and we're right on track today, so I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys can hear me. But it seems like whenever I have a long drive, whether it's to or from school, you know, I'm driving by myself, that's the time when my mind's always thinking about things, ideas, you know, just getting to like some deep thoughts I figured out, figured why not just record that and kind of think out loud for you guys. But what's going on in my head right now is just thinking, this is the last time I'm driving to school. The next time when I'm driving home, I'll have a diploma in hand. You know, never have to go back to school and then it's like you know thinking that I'll never have to go to school again is huge because you know in elementary school then you've got middle school middle school you go to high school high school maybe you go to college and now after college there's nothing you know it's the real world as everyone says and that's where you kind of take control of your life you, know, you can't live in your parents house forever I know some people probably like that but the reality you're not living to your full potential if that's what you choose to do. So now I'm thinking, you know, next time I come home, that's it. There's nothing else after that. So that's when I need to step up and I need to kind of take control of my life, do something for me, you know. I would rather work so hard right now, and I feel like I've worked so hard this year, my senior year in college, to get me ahead when I come out of school. I would rather work as hard as I can right now so that in years to come I can enjoy life I can go on trips I you know don't really have to worry too much knowing that I worked hard right now when I am you know this is the best time when you are young you don't have too many responsibilities now I know you still have a lot of responsibilities but you know it's not like a family you're not working like a full-time job, you're not answering to the man just yet. No family to worry about, really. So this is the time to you know, take advantage of this kind of free time that you have to take risks, to step out of your comfort zone, to do something that you thought you'd never be able to do. And even if you're afraid, that's a good thing. If you're afraid, then that means it's gonna challenge you. If you're afraid, then that means it's out of your comfort zone, it's something that you've never done before. But if you elect that feeling of being afraid hold you back, then you'll never reach your full potential, never. You'll always stay in your little bubble and you'll never know what you could have done. I said this in an Instagram post maybe a week ago. You have two options in life. One being you can choose to work for the man, usually a nine to five job. Maybe it is doing a job that you love, but you're probably never reaching your full potential because you're always like answering to someone else and you're always doing what they want you to do. And more than likely, they're getting all the benefits of your hard work. Option number two is you do reach your full potential or you're at least getting very, very close to it. And that's where maybe you're probably not working for the man, you're probably not working a nine to five job. And it's probably gonna be harder because you, you kind of have to push yourself through there. There's not a, a man above you to give you deadlines, to keep pushing you to, you know, say, if you don't get this project done on time, you might get fired or something. That's where you have to step out of your comfort zone if you want to live option number two. If you want to step out of your comfort zone and reach your full potential, you're going to want to do option number two, where you kind of find out what you love and you take that as far as it can go. But like I've said before, make sure you have balance so you don't want to lose the people around you that helped you get to them. And it just, it's crazy that you work your whole life up to, you know, about to be 22. And every year it's just, all right, I got to get through 
elementary school, middle school, high school, college. But that word, that phrase, get through, that's what kind of bugs me a little bit because if you are always trying to get through something, you're like, all right, I just need to get through this test. I need to get through graduation. I need to get through high school. I need to get through college. I need to get through this internship. That's a lot of just, all right, I'm going to put my head down and suck it up and get through it. If you're just getting through something, then you are not enjoying what you're doing. You're not enjoying graduation, not enjoying high school, college, whatever, if you feel like you need to constantly just get through it. I know every moment isn't going to be the best moment, something you're counting down for, you're so excited, but the moments working up to that is what got you there. So don't feel like you need to get through anything, and I am at fault for doing that many, many times. The amount of times I would have countdowns just to get through something is quite a lot. So I understand that that happens, but one day you're going to look back and be like, wow, like I wish I enjoyed that more, because now, you know, it's years and years later and I feel like I didn't really experience that. So don't always feel like you need to get through something because the next thing you know you're going to be an adult with a family and you missed out on great opportunities. You know right now I'm 21, about to be 22 and this is a time where I can take risks. I can step out of my bubble. I can do things that I've never thought I'd be able to do before because I am able to. I don't have that many responsibilities. You know, I don't need to provide for a family or anything like that. I'm going through an easy pass. But take advantage of these years. Don't feel like, oh, I gotta wait. You know, I need to get, you know, wait till I find money somehow or something. Go work for it. Take that risk because you will never know unless you try. If you stay in your bubble, then you'll never know what's gonna be on the outside of the bubble. And even if you try, and you step out of your comfort zone and it doesn't work right away, don't say, oh, that was stupid. I never should have done that. I sh you know, I never should have tried that. Because maybe not succeeding in that is going to lead you to something else. And that's what's definitely happened to me. You know, I didn't have the best college experience, but it led me to YouTube. It led me to making videos and talking to you guys and getting to know you guys. And it's just been an awesome experience. And I just so thankful for that like I'm so excited to graduate so excited because of what that means gets to come after that and you know I've been working on like a project on the side make sure I don't miss this I'm working on a project I know I'm so excited for that I think it could really help a lot of people but, you know it's everything that I'm looking forward to I don't want to get through anything so I'm going to miss those moments that's what I want to leave you guys with don't feel like you need to get through things. Enjoy what's ahead. Take it day by day, week by week, whatever works for you. Do things that you enjoy and take advantage of the time that we have right now. And even when you might fail at something, it's going to lead to something else. That's happened to me a million and one times. I didn't know it will continue to happen. So it's, you know, that phrase, when one door closes, another door opens. And that is very true. It might not happen right away, but when it does, you'll know it. When it does, you'll know it. That's what's happening with me. So before my camera falls again, before I rant too long, I just want to leave you guys with that. I know this was kind of long. I'll try to shorten it up. But put yourself in a situation where you're going to be able to reach your full potential and enjoy what you do. Just went over some buttons. I thought the camera was going to fall, but that's it. I'm going to get back to driving. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys for listening to this. And I love hearing your feedback, feedback so please comment down below what you thought. And I'll see you guys later. Having this book bag on my shoulders hurts.
My legs were actually cramping up when I was doing the side lunges. So the last set I ended up doing just with body weight, no kettlebell, because cramps are bad. And I'm still out of breath. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. Gotta go home, shower, and edit this video so I can get up at nine. But honestly, this was such a good day. I thought that I would be dead tired by this time, but honestly, the drive here this morning like from Maryland to Jersey felt like yesterday so today feels like a whole new day this workout was one of my favorites squats felt awesome um, I really think that I found the right form uh, the right stance the width everything so I'm really gonna try to hammer that home and get that more consistent six sets of four reps with 115 felt really good so I'm gonna try to stick with that form and just keep doing it over and over that was the first time I squatted in about a week because the last leg session I chose to do just deadlifts which you guys saw so it really felt good taking a week off of squats I was happy with that hopefully you guys like this kind of video how I played the workout footage over me talking in the car I know I get a lot of good feedback about you know motivation and stuff that I put in my videos so I'm really gonna try to incorporate that in a lot but also not forget about you know I'm in this prep I'm, in, I'm cutting so I'm showing you guys every step of that and I really need to start to pick up this cut. So I think in the next few videos, hopefully you can hear me on the wind, but over the next few videos, I'm gonna kind of talk about some minor changes that I might do just to kind of get this into gear because it's going too slow. So try to pick this up. But it's getting really cold and windy and I got a lot to do still tonight, but I feel great. I'm just like so excited with how today went. So I'm gonna end the video here. See you guys tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Love to hear your feedback down in the comment section below. Please share this, these videos too. That really would help me out a lot. We're getting very, very close to that giveaway. I'll have an update on the numbers in the next video, but that's going to do it for today. That's a sign. Lights out. So thank you guys once again. And as always, have a great day.